Should you give your parrot a box as a toy? You could see that it would be well loved. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapless Bond, and in this video we are talking about a box. Ha! Ah, now is a box going to add to your parrot's bliss and fun? Or is a box going to add to their hormones and make your life more difficult? These are my macaws, Cami and <laughs> Kailani. Oh, actually I got it the other way. That's Kailani and that's Cami. Um, you know, when it comes to a box, and you can see this box has been well loved, you really want to consider different things about your parent, their age, uh, who they have for friends or for a flock, and um, things like that, whether or not it's the hormonal season. And there's Chico inside the house. Hi, Chico. <laughs> Hi, are you guys going to fly? Let's watch you fly. Come here. Let's watch you fly. When your parrot is young and isn't old enough to have hormones yet, you're not going to have much of a problem. Here, come on. Go fly. There you go. Right into the sun. Um, so a young parrot's not really going to be a problem. My young Conyers that are only a couple months old. Hi. But you're Cammy. You're supposed to say hi, Cammy. My young Conyers, they have a nesting box to sleep in at night because... As do most parrots, my Conyers really like sleeping in a box. Uh, I am not worried about them, even though there are several of them. I'm not worried. <laughs> she came back like a boomerang. I'm not worried that that's going to do anything like make them hormonal because they're young. And it's just for sleeping. So it's just not, you know, it's, it's not going to be a problem right now. When they're older, it could be a problem. Now, my, uh, I have two pairs of kaiks, and I would not put the kaiks. Okay, you ready to come back? Come back. <laughs> Good job. Good flying. I would not put my kaiks into a cage, not even my aviary that I can walk into that's like five by five by six. I wouldn't put the um, kaiks together in there with the nesting box because... At that point, my mature males are likely to fight and, oh, one could die. I mean, it could be really bad and really ugly. So, if you have a bird in the cockatoo family, you want to be far more <laughs> cautious. <gasps> Good flying. Good girl. Uh, extreme close-up. If you have, no, no, don't bite me. She's giving me a kiss, letting me know she's here. For me. There you go. If you have birds in the cockatoo family, like I was saying, uh, I can't speak too much to it, but no, you don't want to give them a box, even though they may appreciate it, they may enjoy it, but that's going to make the males hormonal. And those males are nasty hormonal, especially if you have a big cockatoo. That's one reason they are, I believe, the most rehomed bird. So no boxes for them, not even to play in. My... No, you're supposed to fly off. No, I... <laughs> She just flies right back on me. Not on the wall. Come back. Come back. Uh, my yellow-naped Amazon, she is older. I can give her a box because she's just not a problem. Hi. Uh, unfortunately, I zoomed in. <coughs> Here. Okay, now fly off. You ready? You ready? Go fly. Go go with uh, Kailani. <coughs> ready? <gasps> fly. There you go. Let's zoom back out in case she comes back. Come on. Come on. There she comes. So you need to know your birds and you need to know the season. It's kind of easy and obvious. Spring is trouble when it comes to hormones for parrots. Um, although I just saw a uh, really cute mem on Facebook. And it had, you know... It was like, when is it? When are parrots hormonal by species? And there were some where it was like, always. <laughs> There's one of her toys, an umbrella. Um, so 
you know, you have to know your parrot, you have to know your species, you have to know the season, you have to know their age, you have to know their temperament. All of these things are going to affect it. If you have a parrot that's not going to cause you a problem, um, then a box is a great thing. You saw that box. They love it. No, you're supposed to fly away, not, not right back. Um, they absolutely love it. So I hope that helps you. I hope you had a little fun watching my macaw fly. My second macaw does not fly very well. Um, we, she does fly, she's getting better, but we suspect that unfortunately, probably the breeder that bred her, like my guess is they didn't take her out of a bin for a long time because her toe is kind of crooked. It didn't develop correctly. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off topic. So I hope you enjoyed watching uh, Cammy fly, my Harlequin macaw. And we'll say bye to Kailani. <laughs> bye. If you have any questions about Paris, anything that you want us to do a video on and talk to you about, please let us know and we'll catch you in the next feathered video.